Two teens have been charged with murder in the fatal shooting of 18-year-old Sebastian Suarez last month at a Yakima intersection, but only one of them will be tried in adult court. KEPKV's Emily Goodell has the full explanation from the Yakima County's prosecutor's office. 18-year-old Sebastian Suarez was shot to death in a fight with two other teens on October 28th at the intersection of Knob Hill Boulevard and 20th Avenue. 16-year-old suspect Luis Valencia has been charged with second-degree murder in adult court. That's because state law requires juvenile court to decline cases where 16 or 17 year olds have committed serious felony crimes. It's not the same for those juveniles 15 and under. For those individuals, such as in this case with the 14 year old, we have to look at whether we can decline him to adult court. And that means looking at his social history, his criminal history, um, his background, his contacts within the system. Brusick says while the 14 year old faces the same charge, his previous contacts with law enforcement are not significant enough to send this particular case to adult court. If convicted in Suarez's killing, Valencia could face a lengthy sentence, but under the law, the 14-year-old would not. For any juvenile ultimate offense in juvenile court, the most that they can receive is imprisonment in a juvenile facility up to the age of 21, and that's what this offender is potentially looking at. Brusick says the adult system is focused on punishing individuals who have committed crimes, while the juvenile system seeks to rehabilitate them for a good reason. We want to protect the public to the very best of our ability, and by helping the juveniles, hopefully seeing that they've done something wrong and that we try to help them with, other, with whatever services we can provide, uh, hopefully they will not engage in further criminal acts. In Yakima, Emily Goodell, Cap Cave U, Local News. Much, Emily. Both suspects are scheduled to appear in court on November 16th. Valencia for an arraignment and the 14-year-old for a pretrial conference.